guys, I'm coming to you today from my garage. I have an experiment that I saw on YouTube earlier and I really want to give it a try. Basically, I'm going to be making spin art with a drill and a canvas. So I want to see how it's going to turn out. You guys probably won't be able to see it very well, but um, I'll do my best to, uh, I want you to be able to see as much as you can, but I also don't want to get any paint on my phone. And I'm wearing a white shirt just in case, because you know, I want to get my white shirts dirty and I'm wearing my, my painty jeans. So I got a box over here that's just covered in all kinds of paint stuff. And this is just a little room in my garage that has no purpose. So I've kind of made it my, my studio. Whenever I want to get really messy with my paint, I come in here. Um, I'll give you a little tour after I do this. Maybe. We'll see how messy I get and how this turns out. If it turns out good and I'm in a good mood, then yeah, we'll see. So hopefully you'll be able to see me. I'm going to sit down over there and put some paint on this canvas and try to get it started. So I'll see you in a second. So basically, I have this really cheap paint, 50 cents a bottle at Walmart, so I'm not wasting anything. And I'm just gonna put a whole bunch on here. So let's see how I can do this the best, since I only have two hands, unfortunately. But I'll be all right. I think so these are all taped together so I'm just gonna kind of squeeze out some paint from each of them um, these colors go pretty well together and I just want to get a whole bunch of paint on this canvas because it needs to be thick in order for it to spin I think at least that's what they said on the videos. So I'm gonna do my best to lay it on nice and thick. And um, we'll see how it goes. The colors I'm using are like a dark blue, a mint green, a magenta color, like a Caribbean ocean color blue, and this um, light purple. Just trying to use up some of my paint. So I'll probably just end up using what's left in these bottles. Hopefully you can hear me. This room kind of echoes, so you probably can. And I also have some gold, golden rod that I'm going to put on as well. So I got it all caked on there pretty good. I think this golden rod is going to um, bring it all together. So. Let's see, let's do a little more. Pardon me. Okay, so, are you guys ready for this? Because I'm sure as heck not. But, we'll see how it goes. If this turns into a disaster, I'm blaming it on you guys. Just kidding. Hopefully, I can get it going. So I guess I should um, stay down. So I'm going to flip it over so you guys can see it and I'm going to spin it. And yeah, here goes nothing. Oh, crap. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it PG. I bet you this is all over my hair. Oh my goodness. Paint's going everywhere. It's so cool. Oh, I love it. But I need to do a little bit more. Oh man. Oh heck yeah. Here it is guys. That was so cool. I really wanted to cover up all the white in the corners, like, like up top. But um, I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to mess it up. I'm afraid to do more and I probably got it all over my hair. I know it's all over my arm. But I think it turned out really cool. 
And the cool thing is, once this is dry, I can take this rod off. They're just screwed on with screws. I can unscrew them. And uh, this rod can go on my next canvas to do it in even more colors. Which, actually, I might do another one, like, right now. So, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, <laughs> it was definitely different. Actually, I'm going to take it off, and then I'll give you a little tour of my studio. So, bear with me for a second. This will only take literally a second. Ta-da! It is now off. I'm going to set it over here to dry. And there you have it, my very first spin art. And I'm gonna just bring the tripod around. So, is it in my hair? Doesn't actually look like it. It's definitely all over my arms though and all over my floor. Hopefully this, doesn't, this video doesn't make anybody motion sick. I'm sorry if it does. Hopefully you even saw that on the floor. I don't even know where the camera was pointing. But this is my garage. You walk in, that's my bike. This is the little room that just has no purpose. It has these wooden things on it. Like maybe it used to be a storage unit or it was going to be a storage unit at one point. But when I got the house, I really liked this because I had plans for it to be in my studio. I just, it took me over a year to finally come out here and do it. But here is the wall that I use to paint on. This painting right here, I tried out something earlier that didn't really work out too well. It was just me throwing cotton balls covered in paint. Um, some of them was watered down paint, some of it was not. You can obviously tell which was which. Um, but I've also done a lot of just paint throwing on it and there's a plastic sheet but it's really useless because everything in this room is just covered in paint but that's okay because it's my house and my room so I can do whatever I want with it and I'm going to take you over to the painting so you can get a close-up of it so I can even get a close-up of it so here it is I'm not very good at maneuvering this tripod, my bad. So there's the painting. Um, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna do more of these. Probably not the videos because it's all just gonna be the same video, just different colors. Um, so I hope you liked my experiment. It was really fun. It took me forever to make that canvas rig, even though it's literally only two screws and a carriage bolt through a, a thin piece of wood, and we'll see how long it actually lasts because it's probably gonna crack and I'm gonna have to make it all over again, but that's okay. Um, I think that's all I have for you, so until next time, bye.